The Metrodome in Minneapolis, where close to 64,000 people are in attendance for what should be an excellent matchup between San Francisco and Minnesota. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With the dome protecting us from the elements, weather won't have an effect on this one today. I'm Tom Hammond. Chris Collinsworth is here. We're ready for the call. Allison from the four. Both teams come into today's game pretty fired up. Let's go down to the field for the opening kickoff. I'm sure they'd like to come away with some points as they take the field for the first time. Jackson is lined up under center. Single set backfield this time. First down, looking to throw. And he catches it. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Gets the throw off. He's dropped around the 44-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. He looks to throw on first down. Throws the deep pass. And the ball appeared to sail on him that time, and he completely overshot his target. And when you're trying to go after one of those deep throws, you really want to give your receiver a chance. We've seen guys in the league so adept at making plays on the ball, but you can't make it when it's that far overthrown. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Three yards on the run. Third down and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. Single set backfield and they use motion. He drops back to pass. Throws left. There for the reception. And they get him around the 28-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. They hand it off. Tackle at the 20-yard line. And that's a gain of about eight. That brings up second down. From the 20-yard line. Minnesota comes to the line with three wide. Feeds it to the back. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and drop. Good call that time. He got them just what they needed. Little counter, quick little move. Not a big gainer, but just enough for the first down. First down, looking to throw. Pass completed. He's dropped around the 15-yard line. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside. That time, though, unable to pick up much yardage. He's tackled at the nine. Peterson gets six yards on the carry. Third and two. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They line up in a one-back set. Jackson hands it off. And it looks short from up here. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. Kick is up. He's got it. Good job putting that kick right on target, and it goes through for three points. He kicks it. Taken at the five. 
Drill at the 26-yard line. And now their offense will take the field for the first time in the game. San Francisco lines up in the offset eye this time. Gore gets the carry right side. He makes his way to about the 38. That was an excellent run there to pick up the first. Yes, sir. He really found a nice hole, was able to exploit it for a good gain. They're going to have to do a better job getting in those running lanes if they're going to stop him consistently. Smith set to go to the air. Here's the throw. Makes the grab. And they get him at the 48-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Gives it off. Dropped behind the line. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Drops back to pass. Throws on the run. To the 10. They'll get in for the touchdown. Well, this offense certainly off to a good start here today. And let's see if they can continue to capitalize on that early touchdown to put them up by three. So they're ready for the extra point. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick is away. Drilled at the 27-yard line. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. Three wide receiver. Drops back. He's under a heavy rush. And the pass is incomplete. The receiver can't quite make the grab just out of his reach. And sometimes it's up to the receiver to give his quarterback a little more separation so he doesn't have to be quite as careful with the football. They'll give it off here. He's dropped at the 30. Just about a three-yard gain, and so it'll be third down. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 30. The Vikings line up in the gun. Three wide receivers are split out. Tackle at the 37. Excellent job by the defense to force a three and out. I always thought the most important portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going, but anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense. A lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. Rossum takes it at the 23. Brought down around the 34-yard line. They were able to put together a nice drive on their last possession. They'll be looking to make it two in a row on this drive. Smith lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Smith back to throw. Throws while on the run. He's dropped around the 43-yard line. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Yeah. 
toss. And they get him at the 45. Short gain there by the halfback for a first down. That was a tough couple of yards right there, but oftentimes those little two-yard gains that move the sticks can make such a big difference in the game. Play action. And he can't hang on to it. Battle was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. San Francisco goes with the ace set here. There's a play fake. Throws off his back foot. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. What happened there? But you never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. Fakes the run. Is there for the catch. He's brought down at the 37. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. He fakes it. The rush reaches him, and he goes down. And that was a nice play to get in there for the sack. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Smith will look to throw. Looks for a man open. The defender gets him to the ground. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up four. It's fourth down. The 49ers line up to punt. Lead is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. It's away and it's a booming punt. Out of the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Drops back to pass, and they're coming after him. Sacked on the play. They have to find a way to provide better protection for it. You're absolutely right. There was not a very good blocking scheme on that one. If you can't get them blocked with five guys, you got to start leaving in six, maybe even seven. These are tremendous pass rushers in this game today. He drops back. Scans the field. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. Rice was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Back to throw. Gets it off. Almost picked. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Louie is the punter. It's away and it's a booming punt. Makes the fair catch. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll take over at the 42. Three, no, make that four wide receiver formation. He looks to throw on first down. Dumps it out right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Gord alone in the backfield. The halfback with the carry. Brought down at the 46-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. Third and six coming up. Ball on the 46. Smith comes to the line under center. Single set backfield this time. Zebra, zebra. 
Sets up the play action. Comes down with it. Cuts back and he's dropped. He's hitting his marks today and that last pass gives him 100 yards through the air. When I spoke to him before the game, he said he had a bit of a virus during the week. Uh, fortunately for his team, it doesn't look like it. Maybe the rest of them need to catch a little case of the flu. Play action. Gets away. Short throw to the right. And they get him around the 34-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Only one man back. This one appeared to be on the offense. Full start, offense. The offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. And you try to keep your offense on schedule. Anytime you take a penalty, it's just so much harder to pick up a first down. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start, offense. And he definitely moved on that one. And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. Smith back to pass. Throws it short. Tackled around the 34-yard line. 10-yard pickup on the play. That'll make it third down. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Fakes to the back. Looking for a receiver. He makes another catch. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 17-yard line. They pick up several yards there on the pass. And that fake really was the difference. Not only did the quarterback sell it, the running back sold it, the offensive line did, and the receiver was open for a nice play. He looks to throw on first down. Looks down the field. And he caught it. He's brought down around the 8-yard line. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that play. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. He throws left. Pass is complete. Brought down around the seven-yard lines. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. Play fake. And it's completed. He's in for the score. The quarterback found the fullback for the touchdown. Nice play. This fullback showing off some skills here today. Blocking, catching, scoring touchdowns. Heck, they may want to turn him into a punter. And here's the extra point. The kick is up, and the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Here's the kick. Allison takes it from the six. He breaks the tackle. Drill at the 33. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. Peterson is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Rifles it to the middle. 
and they get him right around the 48-yard line. They pick up some positive yards that time. There's only a handful of quarterbacks in the league that would even dare that throw. Big strong arm guy got it in. That was a tough throw. Jackson hands it off straight ahead. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Boy, he just took a shot on that one. As a running back, the last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. And they'll run him again. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. They grab eight yards there. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Hey, back, back. Gives it off. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. It wasn't a big gain, but he got them enough to convert. Yeah, the defense really played that one pretty well, but... Anytime you get in those short yardage situations, you can't allow that ball carrier to fall forward. If he does, typically you pick up the first down. Surveys the field. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. Well, he looks like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The Vikings line up with a nickelback. Drops back to pass. He throws it, brings it in. He's brought down at about the 45-yard line. Nothing wrong with that pass. That goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. They give it to the tailback. He fights forward to around midfield. He picked up a few yards on the run, and it was good for a first down. It wasn't a big gain there, but that one little juke that he made was just enough to pick up the first down. They line up at the 50. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They're going to pitch it. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. That was a big-time play by a big-time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Back to throw. Flips it out short. Loose football. And the defense has it. The defense came up with that one. Defenses are getting so much better at learning how to strip the football and change the momentum of a game. That's something that's practiced much more today than it was 20 years ago. Jackson gives it up the middle. What an open field tackle. Peterson gains eight yards on that play. It's second and two. Ball on the 47. Peterson is the single setback. Fargo, Fargo. Gianco is the motion man. They'll go with the run once again. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. The defense was caught out of position there. I like the call. This is a defense that really likes to fly to the football. That time on the counter, they took a misstep. They come back around the other way, get that big offensive line out front. Good game. Hand off to the left. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Out of the eye formation. Jackson dropping back. 
Catch is made. He's dropped at the 18-yard line. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength. But did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Peterson gets the call again. Brought down at the 14. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. The Vikings come out with the offset eye. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. He couldn't get back to the line on that run. And you don't see the fullback carrying the ball a lot in this league anymore. Maybe that's part of the reason why. Jackson is back in the gun. Scrambles for yardage. Excellent open field tackle. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. It's fourth down. This kick will be from about 30 yards out. And he makes it. Not much doubt as he puts that one right through the upright. He kicks it. Rossum from the seven. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Smith with the give. He doesn't get back to the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second down, 11 yards for a first. Ball on the 27. They hand it off again. He lost yardage on the play. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. The 49ers put a man in motion to the right. He drops back to pass, looking for an open man. It's a fumble, picked up. Ball came out. And they were right there for the recovery, Chris. Yeah, the first thing you do on defense when you see the ball out is you grab that guy that just fumbled the ball and make sure he doesn't recover it. That time the defense got on it quickly. Give to the tailback. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Offset I formation in the backfield. Again, he'll get the call. He's tackled around the four-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. They line it up at the four-yard line. Single back formation. He'll get the call again. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Still working. He's brought down around the two-yard line. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. It's fourth down, and this one is a chip shot about 19 yards out. Yeah. 
it's good. He put that one right through the upright. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Not a bad kick. Rossum takes it at the four. Drill at the 31. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Gore gets it on the inside. He's dropped right around the 34-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 35. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Nice play fake. Brought down around the 45-yard line. There was some heat on that pass. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Smith with four wide receivers. Tosses it out. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Gord only picks up about a yard there on the toss play. Offset eye formation in the backfield. The pass is away. And it's knocked down. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there. A late pass defense and a good play. He's looking to throw. Throws it deep. Sap knocks it away. We'll probably see the punt unit here as that incompletion brings up fourth down. So, it's fourth down. The 49ers are lining up to punt it away. Kicks it away and it's a huge punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. Hands it off. He's brought down at about the 21. Peterson gains about two yards on the run. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 22. The Vikings line up with three receivers, single back formation. Hands it off. And they get him at the 27. Peterson comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. They line up at the 27. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Goes through his read. He slides. He was looking for some room on the ground, but the defense was right there. And talking to the defensive coordinator before the game, they said they were definitely going to keep guys in, in a position to play this quarterback running the football. So if he's going to beat this defense today, he's going to have to throw it. Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. Rossum takes it at the 32. Down the sideline. Brought down around the 34-yard line. He almost was able to take that one back for a score. Man, that guy is fast. I'd hate to be one of those coverage guys trying to chase him down. A couple more steps, and he would have definitely been gone for six. Gord on the run. Tackled at the 32-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Oh, that was a big shot right there. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. Oh, 
tosses left. He didn't get back to the line. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Smith lines up under center. Three receivers are split out wide. He drops back. On the run, he throws it. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. A decent pickup on the pass play. Yeah, and that's frustrating for a defense. They had good coverage on the play. The receiver just found a way to catch that one. They give it to the tailback. He makes a move, and he's brought down. Gore picks up about seven yards on the run. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Big set this time with two tight ends. Gore gets it on a counter left. He's dropped at the 15. The misdirection play gets a yard at the most. The defense lines up in the nickel. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Defense closing in. He's there for the catch. He gets in for six. That's his third touchdown, and we're not even at halftime. And he's just picking this defense apart. You can see when he comes to the line of scrimmage, he almost knows what they're going to do before the snap of the ball. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. It's good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. One-man backfield. The defense has him surrounded with the catch. Tackled at the 41-yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. First down, looking to throw. Passes middle. Brought down at midfield. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback that if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. And he's deep cleated at the 46-yard line. That was a pretty nice run to get the first. And when you can run the ball for first downs, it sets up the play action. Now look for this team to be able to mix it up, and that can be so tough on the defense. give to the tailback he fights forward to about the 43 just about a three yard gain and that will bring up second down they come out with a big set Jackson sends a guy in motion to the right looking to throw he needs to get the pass off Clements has the pick He's dropped at the 12. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, 
but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. They line up at the 12. The 49ers come out in a two tight end set. Smith hands it off. And they get him at the six. Gore gets seven yards on the play. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. On play action, he tries to scramble. Past the line. He's tackled at the two. He made the play with his feet rather than his arm there. And the more you talk to defenses and defensive coordinators, probably the thing that frustrates them the most is when a quarterback takes off and runs with the football. He's the one guy they would like to not have to defend. Two minutes left in the half. They'll set this one up inside the five. Ball on the two-yard line. Gord on the handoff. Hit and drop behind the line. What can they do to slow his pursuit down? This guy's really one of the strengths on this defense. Not only is he able to turn the corner and get some pressure on the quarterback, but he's rock solid against the run. Give to the tailback. He's in. Touchdown. How about that little juke in the middle of that move? That's just a one-on-one -on -one athletic play that time. That was fun to watch. They're lining it up for the point after. The kick is up. It's good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it off. From the five yard line. Still pushing. Drill at the 30. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He fakes it, throws it. This pass is incomplete. Varian wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. From their own 30-yard line. The Vikings set up in the gun. Jackson calls for motion left. With the pass. And he should have had that one. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. And individuals will be escorted from the stage. He drops back. Rifles it left. Batted away. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. Rossum fields it at the 27. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. Their previous two trips downfield were a success, and they take the field hoping for a third. Drops back on first down with the pass. Williams picks it off. Brought down at the 40. Nice pick for the safety. You can see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. Not much time to throw. Brings this one in. 
tackled at the 39-yard line. No gain. Peterson lines up as the single back. Passes it out. Makes the reception. He's brought down at about the 31. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. That's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. He's dropped in the open field. How about that pass? There's really no better feeling as an offense, especially for the quarterback position, than to take advantage when the defense is trying to blitz you. They're trying to make you nervous, and you just made them pay. Jackson looking to throw on first down. He decides to run. Great open field tackle. He got three yards there on the scramble. Minnesota goes with the ace set here. Minnesota will take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. They line up at the 18. The kick is up. And it's good. Solid kick that time, and he puts it right through the uprights, converting for the field goal. Kicks it off. Rossum takes it from the six. Dropped at the 34. They'll start at the 34-yard line. Smith is under center. He has two backs behind him. Sets up the play action. They get to him. We played one half of football, and our score is 49ers 28, the Vikings 12. Decent kick. Rossum from the six. He's hammered at the 30. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Four wideouts this time. Gore gets the carry. He took a shot at the 29-yard line. One yard loss for the halfback. I don't think the defense was fooled on that one. <laughs> it was like they were sitting back in the huddle listening in. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they get him at about the 29-yard line. And a pickup of about two. And that makes it third down. They come out in the nickel. Back to pass. And they're coming after him. It's completed. Steps out around the 30-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. Minnesota is lined up. They look like they're sending the house after this punt. Lee punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Wade fields it at the 27. He's brought down around the 39-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. Play fake. Now he's scrambling. Hand hitting. They can't complete the pass. Now the offense will be looking at second down. Second down. So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on the 39. Jackson is under center. He has two tight ends. Passes. Makes the catch. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Defense is getting pressure. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. 
They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. He drops back to pass. Surveys the field. And the pass is knocked away. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Minnesota sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Fires it out. They picked it off. That's another great play by this defense. Well, I don't know if he could believe that this guy picked him off the first time, so he went back to the well, and uh, he got caught again. Drops back. Looks down the field. There for the catch. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Into the end zone for a touchdown. That's his fourth pass for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Set down. The kick is up. Point after is good. He gets his leg into this one. And he gets brought down hard. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. Minnesota goes with the ace set here. Here's the halfback. And he's drilled at the 34-yard line. They get around five yards from the halfback from their own 34-yard line. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks to pass. Goes through his read. And it's caught. Brought down around the 41-yard line. It looked like he was covered that time. Yeah, Tom, you're exactly right. But sometimes if you're going to try and make throws down the field, you're going to have to take chances like that. And with the kind of playmakers this team has at wide receiver, it's really not that big a risk. Peterson takes it left. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner was stuffed. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. Back to throw. Scans the field. Completed. He's dropped at the 38. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees the receiver break free in coverage. The Vikings put a man in motion. Not much time to throw. Marion was the intended receiver and he can't bring it in. Fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt this one away. Cluey to set back ready to punch. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. For more details today. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. 
if the offense can air it out as effectively as they did on their last drive, it's going to be a long day for everyone on that defense. Smith will hand it off. Tackled right around the 24-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the halfback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 25. The 49ers line up with an offset eye backfield. He fakes it. Looking for a receiver. He's going to run. He's brought down about the 25-yard line. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. Two tight end formation this time. Pajama in motion. Sets up the play action. And he catches it. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Great job to haul in that first down pass. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. He'll get it again. He's dropped for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Mm, that looked painful on that one. And we're talking about the lost art of tackling. Not only was it a big hit, but it was a disciplined hit. Good wrap up, had a way to take him to the ground, perfect. Back to pass, passes the ball. They picked it off. Tackled at about the 39 yard line. What a big time play, I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're gonna have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. He's under pressure. He's got to find a way to hold on. Pass incomplete. Marion was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Jackson is lined up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. Let's go, D. Quick game, 44 screw. Over Watts, red man. He's looking to throw. Gets the ball away. And they get him at the 23. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. There's a play fake. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Back to throw. He throws on the run. There for the reception. They bring him down and it's first and goal. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. They line up in the I formation. It's the tailback. Dropped behind the line. Big time play by the defensive end. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. The rush gets there, and he goes down. That's one way to disrupt the passing game. Yeah, it's hard for him to complete a pass when he's lying flat on his back. Right now, you have to change strategies offensively. Got to get the ball out of there a little bit quicker. You can't allow teams to intimidate your offense with a blitz. They'll give it off here. And they didn't get it. Taylor comes away with five yards on the carry. It's fourth down, and this one is a chip shot about 19 yards out. Oh, 
The kick is up. And he makes it. Pretty good kick that time. And he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. He'll take it from the two. Drill at the 33-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Gives it off. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Two-yard pickup. That brings up second down. Offset eye formation in the backfield. The 49ers motion to the left side. Back to throw. He's running out of time. Pass completed. And he's knocked out at the 40. Good pocket presence shown as the quarterback was able to get rid of it just before the pressure got to him. Yeah, very safe, simple play hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. They will be short. Got a couple, but will still be short of the market. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. Lee kicks it away, and did he ever get a hold of this one? And they'll down it at the two-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. Jackson comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Tackled at the 17. I expected them to run it but he just broke it for a big one. Well, backed up like that, you expect a run to be called. What you don't expect is a big run like that. That is a big time play right there by a tremendous running back. They hand it off. Brought down right around the 20 yard line. That's four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. They come out in the nickel. Jackson drops back, throws it short. He's dropped at the 26-yard line. Nice pass and catch on that play, and it gets him a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Jackson sends a man in motion. Gets the pass away. Lewis intercepts it. Inside the 30. He's down the sideline. He's tackled at the 10. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. It's first and ten. Smith lines up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Smith with the give. And they get him at the seven. Three yards there, and that will bring up second down. They come out with a big set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down right around the four-yard line. 
gain of two, and so it'll be third down, third and five. San Francisco lines up with three receivers. Battle comes in motion. Draw play. They tackle him for a loss. He was looking for some room to run there, but there just was nowhere to go. And sometimes when the offense hands the ball to the fullback, they're just looking for a little change of pace, maybe trying to pop one in there. That time he got popped instead. And it's good. He makes that one pretty easily and puts it through for three points. The kick is away from the five-yard line. Still moving. Drilled at the 28-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Feeds it to the back. Hit hard at the 34. Peterson gets six yards on the carry. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back to pass. Guns it out. He's brought down around the 45-yard line. Ten-yard gain that time. First and ten. Peterson lines up as the deep back, high formation. Here's the give. Tackled at the 49-yard line. And with that carry, the running back just went over 100 yards on the day. Those big guys up front, they just keep pushing the defense back at some point. Now you're going to have to do something to try and stop those running lanes. But then look out, the passing is going to be wide open. Back to throw. All kinds of pressure. Makes the grab. And they get him at the 33. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. He fights forward to about the 30, a pickup of about three. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. Drops back. He's going to take off. He's dropped around the 28-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Third and six, ball on the 28-yard line. Taylor alone in the backfield. The Vikings motion to the right side. Guns it to the middle. Brought down at the 16-yard line. And a great pass for the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Easy, 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 easy. He looks to throw on first down. Is there for the catch. Tackle around the 10-yard line. Wade gains seven yards with the catch. Jackson is in the shotgun. He has four receivers split out wide. Drops back, looking for an open man. Passes the line. He's brought down at the five-yard line. He's very dangerous when he runs out of the pocket. This quarterback's a good athlete, no question about it. When he drops back to throw, you had better account for his ability to run the football or you're going to give up a first down like they just did. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Our score is the 49ers 38, the Vikings 15.
Jackson hands it off. Brought down at the two. Peterson comes away with two yards on the carry. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. He needs to make a decision, and he scores. What a play! Well, he went to his tailback on that one. Yeah, he's a tailback, but he has wide receiver moves when he gets down around the goal line. He is some athlete. The Vikings come out in a single back formation. Jackson will hand it off. And they won't get the two. Great stop by the defense, stopping that run. More often than not, when you're trying to run the ball for a two-point conversion, you think that you're catching them off guard. That time, the defense was set to stop it, and they did a nice job of it. Dropped at the 35. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The backfield is in the offset I formation. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Gets in for the touchdown. Whoa, how about that little juke move out there? That's just a shake, a little bake, and stick it in for the touchdown. Here's the point after. Up and good. So with just over 14 minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter, our score is the 49ers 45, the Vikings 21. Hicks fields it at the one. Big hit there to bring him down. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Offset I formation in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Drops back. Rifles it out there. And he dropped him in the open field. He was looking to the right the whole time, finding his man for a pretty good game. So many times in offenses now, we see them reading only one half of the field. That time he stayed off to his right side, went through the progressions, and found the open guy. Looking to throw. Gets the pass out. Tackled around the 48-yard line. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. And they get him at the 41-yard line. Without a doubt, he showed off his incredible speed on that play. You know, not only the top-end speed, which is so impressive, but speed in and out of his cuts. That's the difference in a great running back. Anytime you can see a guy maintain that speed out of his cuts, that's a guy that has superstar ability. Peterson gets six yards on the play. So second down now, the offense needs about four for the first. Looking to throw. He throws right. Knocked loose. Spine Sasser was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. 
Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 36-yard line. Looks to pass. With the throw. He dropped it. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Jackson back to pass. Looks for a man open. Comes down with it. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 27-yard line. A decent gain there on that pass. Yeah, a little timing route there, and you really have to have faith as a quarterback to get that ball out of your hand quickly if you're going to play with that kind of touch on the ball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Toss. Tackle at the 25. Peterson, Peterson gains the around two yards the there on the toss. Gate of two. Second down and eight. This is the 10th play of the drive. Nickelback is in on this play. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. Crosses the line. Brought down at the 20. Jackson comes away with five yards on the scramble there. Here's a third and three. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. And he caught it. He's dropped at the 12. That catch puts him over 100 yards receiving. Not much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's most comfortable with, and he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. Drops back on first down. Looks down the field. He was hurried on that last play. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Peterson gets the call. And he will lose yardage on the play. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. They'll come out in the shotgun. Let's go! Looks to pass. Looking for a receiver. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. Well, that's just a big-time pitch and catch right there. The quarterback made a beautiful throw, but it was the route by the wide receiver that set it up. He was as open as I've seen all afternoon. They'll go for two in this situation. The Vikings go with the I formation. San Francisco shows blitz. He drops back. Short pass. And they won't get the two. The kick is away. Robinson from the two. They get him at the 31. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Play action. Throws on the run. He dropped it. That incompletion will bring up second down. Second down now with 10 